This is a story of Caden Hawkins. Warning via discretion is advised. Caden was born on October 11, 2011 in Richmond, Indiana. On February 5, 2012, he would pass away from starvation. Caden had been born at a healthy weight at eight pounds and seven ounces. He had just one visit to the doctors a week after his birth. After that one visit, he began to start to deteriorate. Caden was forced to sleep in a swing that was soaked in his urine and feces. The couple did not give him baby food bathe him, nor change his diaper. He lost weight quickly. When relatives would ask about the baby's health, Amy Hockett, the child's mother, stated that they were gonna take him in for testing. The baby was all alone in the back of the residence and that is where unfortunately he would pass. The child's father, Joseph Pearson, was mildly mentally retarded. Amy called 911 to report that her baby was unresponsive and when the police arrived, they found the baby boy and unfortunately he had passed away. He was also covered in urine and feces and he was filthy. Also in the residence, there was piles of clothing, overflowing, trash cans, dirty dishes, rotting food, and feces littered throughout the couple's home. In Caden's room, police found feces all over the walls and the fridge had no food in it. Amy told emergency personnel Caden had acid reflux and he vomited after feeding. She also claims that the doctors were testing her son for a disease in leukemia, blood disorders, and kidney stones and a less serious problem such as acid reflux, but this will all turn out to be a lie. Caden's autopsy was performed the next day. His skin was sagging from his body and was leathery. He had sores in his genital and buttocks area and weighed six pounds and two ounces. They also found only three small pieces of what appeared to be formula in Caden's stomach. His cause of unaliving was from malnutrition and dehydration. Amy Hockett was convicted of unaliving of her son, Caden, and was also convicted of three accounts of neglect for her other children. She is serving 60 years in prison in the Indiana Women's Prison. Joseph Pearson was guilty of reckless homicide, neglect of a dependent, resulting in unaliving and neglect of a dependent. Though he was also found mentally ill at the time, he was sentenced to 37 years in prison, though prosecutors had asked for 47. He is serving in Wabash Valley Level 3 facility. Alrighty guys, that was the unfortunate case of Caden Hockett. May he rest in peace. But if you like true crime and you like it the way I tell him, go ahead and hit the plus button. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in my next one. Take care. Remember to always make good decisions and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.